Hey guys, and welcome back to episode 50, 51 of The Long Dark. Um, today is moving day. In fact, it's the same day as last episode, because I realized we had like 8 hours of daylight remaining. So it's a little bit later now. All I did is I crafted up the an arrow with that final arrowhead, and I shoved the leftover shafts into that workbench up there. So we know where it is if we ever have to come back and get it. Um... Yeah, and the excess feathers and stuff. So we've got ammunition now, basically. Um, still a little bit overburdened. I ate a little bit of venison just to top us up and drank some water, but we're still overburdened, which isn't ideal. I was expecting to have a, a good night's sleep and head out in the morning um, a little bit lighter. But on the other hand, I kind of prefer having the extra stuff on me. So we are going to head out right now. We're a little bit tired still, because I haven't actually had a sleep. But there's still quite a bit of time left in the day, and I know there is another, like, village on our way to where we want to go. Now, we need to find the, the road. So we came past towards this. I think this way, if we head over this way, there is a, a road that we can follow. And we're going to head back to that last little village where I think we might even have stashed a few bits and pieces. So we might be able to top up if we need some supplies once we get there. Um, let's head over here. This looks like a path, sort of, doesn't it? So let's head this way. Maybe I don't need the rifle out just yet. There's a deer right there, so there's probably not a wolf waiting over this corner here. Okay, yeah, there we go. There's a bridge. Not entirely sure which one this was, but I think we need to hang, hang a left at the end of this pathway here. What's the temperature? Like, 5 degrees. That's good. I'm just getting a little bit nervous that we're going to get caught out in bad weather again here. Oh, high encoding again. I really hope the next area is kinder on my PC. <laughs> let's, uh, let's head off and see what we can find. I'm kind of excited to see what the next area is. You guys haven't spoiled it for me, so thank you very much. I'm looking forward to finding out for myself and that whole thing of I have no idea where anything is. I haven't got a map or... Any kind of tools or equipment, I've just got to, got to wing it. So this is turning around. That sounded really close. Oh my goodness, and there are so many wolves over there somewhere. Um. Mm, okay. <laughs> Let's hope they stay over in that direction. Oh my goodness, they are close. They're just over there. Wow, that snowbank could have killed us. Lack of visibility. Wow. Okay. That would have sucked to die just as we were leaving the zone. Although, I guess I could have looked it up and then just started fresh in that zone. Three more wolves right there. Uh, okay. Can we skirt around them? Let's find out. Kind of worried about that. Um, see, now these rocks are in our way. Oh, kind of wish I could move faster now. I didn't have all this extra weight on me. What is this? I am, I am now getting very, very lost. This is this like a river or something? What? I wasn't expecting to see this here. Oh, are we there? No, okay, I know where we are. This is where we were heading. This is the town we were trying to get to. So that's good. We've made it. We made it. Somehow. <laughs> by, uh, by pure fluke. I mean, because we're amazing at navigating and following... following directions. That's that's clearly the only possible explanation. But we made it. We're here. So we made it to this town. Um, from here, I don't think it's too far to the get, get to the next zone. So we've got five hours of daylight left. Now, the question is, do we want to head off right now or not? Five hours is not that much. But the weather is reasonably decent then we are pretty tired as well. Tell you what, we're gonna... We're gonna head straight off. 
and we're going to see what we can find. So somewhere up this path, we know we can fall back to this. If it turns out, I don't know, like there's no shelter, we haven't found any, we can just pop back here to this little camp. Um, we've got a little bit of firewood on us anyway. We've got food, we've got water. I think we'll be better served by just heading off to exploring the next area while there's still some daylight left. And if this is a tunnel, like it shows like a little tunnel symbol on the map, then there's going to be shelter in there anyway, and we can spend the night in that if we have to. Why can I not get over? There we go. So according to this, I want to turn right as soon as I can. This is where I start to get nervous because I have no idea what we're walking into. Uh, see, ideally, I think what you'd want to do is just load up on food and water if you're going on an expedition like this. Like, if you don't know where you're going to be able to get your next supplies. But I'm just paranoid since, since leaving that dam. And we couldn't easily get... Well, I guess we could easily get back there. I was just an idiot and couldn't figure out how to do it. Hmm. Okay, maybe I should have left all the valuable stuff and just brought food and food and water. Too late now. <laughs> you know what they say, hindsight is twenty twenty. Looking for something resembling like a little footpath or... Or anything. This looks more like it. Let's head down here, see what we can find. Yeah, here we go. This is like a little path, isn't it? This must be leading to something. I hope. There is, of course, no guarantee that it must be leading to something, despite me somehow jumping to that conclusion. This could be leading to our death. Hollow tree, I really want to check you out. Is, is that music supposed to be comforting? It's it's not comforting me. What's in this tree? Absolutely nothing. Waste of time. Okay, well, at least there's mushrooms there. In case we ever run out of mushrooms, we can we can come back and get some more. Okay, well there's lunch if we need it. But in fairness, this is a like a whole other area we haven't explored. I kind of want to see what's up here. It does look on the map a little bit. Now, I've never noticed this before, but like there's two different routes you can take and it splits left and it's the left-hand one that seems to lead to the cave. And I kind of guess it kind of makes sense that that would be in an inaccessible area. So I'm going to guess it's up here. I could be wrong, of course, but it's still five degrees. We're sheltered from the wind a little bit here. That's nice. Well, it doesn't actually look like there's a lot of wind. Why? Why so many wolves? This place is terrible for wolves. I hope we never have to come back here. <laughs> well, I wonder how many times we've been mauled. I think there might be a stat somewhere that tells you that. We'll have to look that up if I can figure it out. Okay, what is this up here? I mean, this has to be something. It's a massive path leading to somewhere, right? keep our eyes peeled because this is where I start to walk past things without noticing. Although again, you guys have been very good at pointing this stuff out to me, so... Oh, yeah, this is an actual path right here, isn't it? Okay, let's see where this is going. Do I want some more moss? No, we're already overburdened. Don't get greedy. You can get that stuff anywhere. Oh, this is interesting. Is that a signpost? We actually gonna get instructions? Let's have a look. Oh, nope. Nope. Just a, a lamp that doesn't work, of course. Leave Pleasant Valley. But that doesn't go anywhere. What? 
Okay, well, we're gonna give it a go. Wish us luck, guys. Cross your fingers. Off we go. Episode 51, Into the Unknown. Cinder Hills Coal Mine. Cured Leather. Wood Matches. Can never have too many matches. I don't know why I'm picking that up. That seems like it would be heavy. Where is it? 0.9 kilos. Eh. Oh, man. Okay. Maybe we should actually have a like a nap here. I'm actually going to leave this coal behind because there's just no point. I have no idea what I've even picked it up for. Or what it's going to be good for. Uh, let's... Uh, are we at risk of parasites still? Yeah, we are. We're not even that hungry, though. Let's drink some water. Let's just drink some water. We're gonna have a nap while it's while we're in here, and it's I presume it's sheltered. Yeah, 17 degrees, so we're not gonna freeze to death here. And we're gonna rest for like two hours. don't want is to be super tired. Oh, apparently now I should have been doing this in the daylight. Hmm, okay, let's sleep for another couple hours, whatever. We've got our our lamp with us. If the worst comes to the worst, we'll just sleep off the remainder of the night if that thing goes out. Sounds like we timed it pretty well. The wind is howling outside. Sleep for another couple hours. Let's drink up some more of this water then. That's starting to worry me because that's getting very low. We might have to. I suppose we could make water here. Yeah, we could break down like this crate, could burn up this stuff and make some more water, so that's okay. Heckish. So we can eat this wolf meat now. Bear meat, sorry. to get rid of some of our excess weight again. We're still going to be over when we pick up this roll. Yeah, it's not too bad. Not too bad. And I think we're quite well rested now. So let's... Off we go. Let's go and explore. <laughs> Maybe you could hear how unconfident I am. Something's got to go. About how this is going to turn out. But let's, let's explore through this place in the darkness here. Music is so loud as well. Great. Road splits. Took the right hand fork. Is this a dead end? No, that other one was. We're actually going to go that way because I want to explore. Oh, there is coal just laying around in here. So I guess we're going to need this for something. Um... I mean, I would guess you could use it instead of, like, wood as a fuel, right? Um, but it would imagine it'd be pretty hard to set fire to. Let's have a look in here now. So we are going to come down that way. Then we've got another tunnel split. Oh, nice. A little bit of ammunition. Not going to bother with that stim. Not going to bother with that, but that's good. We've got some goodies there and some quality tools if we need them. Let's head back around the other way. Yeah, ammunition, great. If I can keep using this rifle as long as possible, I'll be happy. That's been broken now. We are going to head down this way. Coal everywhere. Anything good stashed away in here? I don't think so. Just more and more coal. Oh, this is driving me crazy because I'm going to have to come back and collect all this at some point. <laughs> Let's go left this time. I bet this is the right way now. Looks like it. So 
like a dead end tunnel with some scrap metal. Yeah, this looks like it's going somewhere, so let me just, um, oh, what is that? Yeah, that's definitely going somewhere, so we're going to head back the other way. I want to see what's down that other tunnel. Good thing we brought all these matches, because if this thing runs out, I think we should have a fair bit of light still. There's a dead guy here. That's really sad. He made it as far as this and couldn't get through. Uh, didn't have anything good on him, though. There's a torch there. We're not really worried about that. It's just more weight to carry. Okay, well, that was disappointing. Head back in this direction. There's a workbench there, so it seems like a little, a little waypoint. Box for firewood, newsprint, more scrap metal. Wow, metal and coal everywhere. Uh, rifle cleaning kit. I'm gonna take you. Let's see. Drawer. Yeah, okay, take another fire striker. I know this is all weighing us down, but it's good stuff. Newsprint, firewood. Let's see if there's anything good in here. Why not? We'll eat you in a bit. Leave that. Take it. Doesn't weigh anything. That'll come in handy. Yeah, refuel the lantern in a second. Yeah, okay. Anything in this backpack? No, okay. Well, a couple of pretty useful bits there. So how is this lantern doing? 92% actions refuel. Yeah, there we go. Okay. And let's keep going. Into the darkness. With this eerie, creepy music is driving me crazy. Oh. They really know how to put you on edge in this game, just with the sounds and the audio cues and the... Excellent, excellent game. Left or right? That looks like a thing. What's down here? Just a cave-in. More coal everywhere. Okay, let's head up here then. This is obviously where we're supposed to go. Yeah, this looks like a kind of mine entrance, doesn't it? What's in... Oh, two ways again. What's all the paths splitting? Bandages. I think we're okay for those for right now. Sewing kit. We got one of those. We can come back and loot this stuff another time if we need to. I'm just... I'm already so overburdened here. I don't want to be carrying more than I have to. Um, left or right, left or right, left or right. We're going to head right. Let's see what's this way. Seems like a dead end. Does that split onto that other path? So this is just some scrap wood. one that came down from that room? Yeah, it is. Okay, cool. That was, for once, the most efficient route <laughs> to be able to explore everything. Let's head up here, then. You know what? Some of these support braces do not seem particularly secure. Oh, is that light up here? And I can hear some howling wind. Perfect bathroom break. We haven't... <laughs> I haven't seen one of those in a long time. None of these houses... Oh yeah, the houses do have bathrooms. I, I'm going crazy. It's where we keep all our medicine. And where we get our drinking water from, apparently. Did I... Did I just pick up some clothing there without meaning to? No. Okay, we're good. We're good. Definitely gonna grab those matches. 
Yeah, we're good. Okay. What else we got in here? More coal. More newsprint. I'm gonna have to figure out what that coal is for. Flare. Again, not gonna use it. Great. Oh, this sounds terrible. Let's see what's out here, because we might have to pop back in. Yeah, that weather's really bad. I just realized what a stupid idea that was, because if we couldn't have got back in and we were stuck out in a blizzard, that would have been the end of us. Oh. <laughs> bad. Bad news. Okay, well, tell you what, we're gonna go back in here. I'm gonna sleep through this night, and hopefully the weather's gonna clear up. Um, and then we can start the next episode and explore whatever area this was. What was it again? Coastal Highway, did that say? I think it was. Coastal Highway, yep, so now we know where we are. So thank you very much for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.